what's up? Don't really feel like doing this, but thought I would anyway. So I'm day eight of dealing with the corona crap. Um, it's not as bad as I thought it would be, but and then other times it's worse than I thought it would be, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> I think the worst part is, or one of the worst parts is that it just keeps going. This is day eight, and I don't really feel much different than I did the first or second day into it. Right now, pound, pounding headache and uh, very fatigued. You're just so tired. Um, shortness of breath a little bit still dealing with that and that's kind of the scary part I guess is uh, I'm okay when I'm up and about most of the time until you do a little activity then you might get you get winded but the scary part is when you wake up out of a dead sleep and you're you can't seem to breathe so you just gotta really pray instantly uh, take your mind off of thinking about it. I have to get up instantly out of bed and walk around, grab the dog, uh, look outside, just do anything to take your mind off of the fact that you're, you think that you're not able to breathe. Um, I think I only had a fever the first day or so I have zero, this is a little pine needle, this is my test. I started chewing on them like four days ago and I could barely taste them and the next day was hardly taste and then eventually I've, I have zero taste. I mean, and when I say zero, I have zero taste, zero smell. I can uh, smell a gasoline jug, a diesel jug, propane, and you're not able to smell any of that smoke. Um, zero taste. You can kind of sense sweetness, and you can sense saltiness, and you can sense hot from like peppers and stuff, but there's no taste, there's just a slight sensation that you can tell that maybe it's abundant of those seasonings or spices. Um, Paula's been struggling today. She's just really tired and shortness of breath. She's in bed right now. We've kind of been, our symptoms have been almost identical. We go in waves though, like I'll have a little bit of energy and she'll be passed out. And then she might get a little bit of energy and I'm pooped. But uh, I'm just praying this gets over with. I took my home spit test a couple days ago and they notified me last night that it was positive, of course. Um, yeah, it's you know, the flu is, I've been, I think I've been sicker with the flu and pneumonia, but it don't seem like it lasted a week, you know, and I guess this goes on for at least 10 days. So I'm praying that our symptoms are gone here in the next day or two, so with that, uh, anyway, just an update from fat, overweight diabetic that's dealing with COVID and I guess right now I should be very thankful and blessed that uh, I'm not in the hospital on a ventilator etc and uh, I don't wish this upon anyone to get this virus it sucks and I guess kind of what worries me is they say that uh, you're only immune for like 90 days after you have received it 
once, you can get it again. Uh, my daughter's dealing with five months of still no smell or taste. Um, well, actually, she's got a different deal that some she can smell and taste, but everything tastes nasty or smells nasty, repulsive to her. So I guess it'd probably be better not to have your senses at all than have to deal with that. So anyway, just thought I'd give an update all. Love you guys. We appreciate all the prayers. And uh, we'll keep you posted. Adios. God bless all of you.